So things we can put in and what we're aiming for, so we want what we call a 50-50 mix. Um, so that's kind of 50% um, greens and 50% browns and greens are nitrogen rich materials. So examples of those might be your grass clippings, it might be your vegetable peelings, it might be cut flowers if you've had a bunch of cut flowers and you want to put those in. Then there's also the browns and that's more things like rotting leaves, cardboard, newspaper, brown paper, um, egg boxes, uh, and that's really carbon rich materials. And that kind of mixture of the carbon and the nitrogen uh, is what the kind of microorganisms break down and work really well together. Like if you have too much nitrogen material, then you end up with a kind of sludge. Um, and if you end up with too much brown stuff, it ends up really dry. But having the 50-50 mix means that you get a really nice compost at the end and it smells lovely and earthy. It works best with that 50-50 mix. So yeah, there's all sorts of bits you can put in there. Maybe even like animal bedding. If you've had kind of guinea pigs or rabbits or something, you could stick that in and that would be a kind of a nice mix of say, hay and cardboard, so you've got your nitrogen and your carbon going in. But something else you do want in there is a really nice load of creatures from maybe you could go to somebody else's compost bin and, and ask them for a spade full of their stuff and it's almost like a little starter culture that will get your compost bin going and they'll start creating more bacteria and more kind of fungi and stuff in there so getting a big spade full of somebody else's compost is is not a bad idea at all so and then a bit of oxygen a bit of water and you're well away off you go all done <laughs>